Now, here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. And good afternoon, friends. It's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, for the first quarter of this year, U.S. beef exports were slightly below last year's record pace, while pork exports continued to be slowed by trade barriers. That's according to the March data released this week by the USDA and compiled by the U.S. Meat Export Federation. Now, March beef exports totaled over 107,000 metric tons, down 4% year over year, while value fell 2% to $678 million. South Korea, though, continues to be the growth leader for U.S. beef exports. Meanwhile, U.S. lamb exports were a first quarter bright spot, trending significant higher than just a year ago. In some other news, the American Farm Bureau, along with the National Farmers Union, are urging lawmakers to support the Family Farmer Relief Act. That'll help more family farmers and ranchers avoid liquidation or worse yet, foreclosure, allowing them to stay in operation. Now, the National Farmers Union's Government Relations Director, Matt Perdue, told me the legislation would raise the Chapter 12 bankruptcy operating debt cap from $4.1 million to $10 million. This is really an effort to increase that debt cap and say, you know what? Uh, we got family farmers out there, family farmers of, of all sizes, of all types. Some of them are carrying really heavy debt loads. We got debt loads nationally that are higher than they've been since the 1980s. Uh, we got to lift that limit. We got to open up this program to, you know, a pretty broad range of, of family farmers and ranchers across the country. Now, both Farm Bureau and Farmers Union say the tremendous challenge of record nominal farm debt and poor economic conditions has led a lot of farmers and ranchers to seek Chapter 12 bankruptcy as a debt relief and restructuring option. And livestock guardian and herding dogs are more than just... Well, they're part of an industry as lamb and wool, which is why the American Sheep Industry Association wants to recognize their contributions in this year's ASI photo contest. In a major change to this year's contest, ASI has eliminated the fine wool category and replaced it with a division honoring a sheep herder's best friend. The catch is, though, that any photos submitted in the working dog category must be of dogs and the sheep they protect and or herd. The deadline for this year's photo contest is August 1st, and the top three finishers in each category will receive a cash prize and be featured in the October issue of the Sheep Industry News. Get more details by visiting sheepusa.org. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Ag News right after this. Well, with another wildfire season just around the corner, Montana Congressman Greg Gianforte and 18 other members of Congress have introduced the Resilient Federal Forest Act, a solution they say to the growing economic and environmental threats of catastrophic wildfire. Now, Congressman Gianforte and the others say, we've made progress to reduce the severity of wildfires, but there's more we can and should be doing. The legislation pairs targeted forest management reforms with needed regulatory streamlining to dramatically improve the health and resiliency of forests and rangelands. The bill provides federal land management agencies immediate tools to increase the pace, scale, and cost efficiency of forest management projects. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. We'll send it back over to Sammy.